Hey guys, I'm Callie. And I'm Nate. And we are from the channel King of Random, where we bring you lots of DIY projects and science experiments, and recently we paired with Adobe to bring you a video all about liquid oxygen. In that video, our editors made some awesome motion graphics to help convey different messages to the audience. Today, we want to show you how they did that and how you can too using Adobe After Effects. To start, we've already made a new composition, which we call main. So first, we'll bring in the image that will go in the orb. Let's grab it from the folder and drop it into After Effects. It's too big, so we'll go ahead and resize it. Next up is creating the orb the crown will go on. Click on the Shape tool and make a circle around the crown. This next part isn't necessary to make the graphic, but we went ahead and used a combination of yellow circles, blur effects, and masks to give the orb a little bit of shine behind it. Then we added a couple of transparent circles to give the impression that there is a light shining on the orb, then animated their movement to mock the look of a light moving across the orb. After all of this, you can pre-compose the orb assets and move on to creating the text banner. First, by using the pen tool, you can draw the shape you want. We'll call this shape Black Plate, and this will be where our main line of text will go. Then we can duplicate the shape and change the color to yellow. We'll call this one Yellow Plate and move it here. This is where we'll put the second line of text. Then, finally, we can duplicate the yellow shape, and we'll call that one Bar Mask. This will eventually be the caution bars that go on the top and the bottom of the text. However, we'll be using this as a mask, so you can set it to any color you want. We'll set it to red for now. Next, take the bar mask and resize it so that it sticks out evenly over the top of the black and yellow bars. When that is in place, duplicate the bar mask and change the color to yellow. Then we can rename it to Caution 2. Next, we want to add the black stripes in the caution bars. We can draw that with the pen tool, then duplicate those until we have all of our stripes in place, extending all the way off the screen. We'll animate these later, so we need enough bars lined up in order to have a continuous bar animation. When those are in place, we can then highlight all of the shapes and pre-compose them to clean things up. We'll call this comp Black Caution Bars. Then we can go ahead and move the Bar Mask layer above the Caution 2 layer and move the Black Caution Bars under the Bar Mask layer. Then, under the Track Mat column, we can select Alpha Mat Bar Mask for the Black Caution Bars layer. Doing so will clean up the mask and get the Caution Bars ready to be animated. Next, add a keyframe to the beginning and end of the layer, and then go ahead and adjust your settings until the Caution Bar is moving at the speed you want. With that done, we can select all of our layers except for our orb and pre-compose them. We'll call this comp main plate and move it under the orb layer. As you can see, we're almost there, with the last bit being to remove the graphics sticking out the back of the orb. To do that, we'll need to create another mask, which we can quickly put over the part we want to be visible, name it main plate mask, and set the track mat to alpha mat main plate mask. Then finally, we can click our text tool and add our text. We'll first add text to the top line and then go ahead and add text to the bottom line. At this point, the animation is basically complete, but we've gone ahead and added a few cosmetic effects to complete the look. First, we added a glow effect to have the orb enter into the screen. Then we've gone ahead and added some animation to the text plates so that they enter from behind the orb. Then finally, we turned on motion blur to make the whole thing move a little more fluidly. And that's it. You can change the text to say whatever you want, like perhaps reminding the audience to subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out some of our other tutorials where we talk about speed ramping and auto reframing. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.